Hello everyone, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for March the 30th, 2011. Now, to get started today, our first trade, we're going to be looking at rough rice futures contracts, the May contracts. Now, this is kind of an interesting trade here because we were, if you remember, there's a, I recommended a long on this, I think it was last week. We've had a nice move up and now we're starting to move lower. What what appears to be potentially a trend reversal in these contracts and I'm not so sure that it is. Now what we're looking at here is we've got our triple EMA cross. We've closed at 1385.5 uh, just below the vantage point three, the three vantage point predicted moving averages. However, you can see that we've had new, we've had uh, essentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight straight days of an upward move. Well, the theory, as you know, is that nothing goes straight up and nothing goes straight down. So we need a minor corrective pullback if this trend is still going to continue to the upside, which in my view, I think it is. So looking at this, we can see that our predicted true strength indicator and our predicted MACD have crossed the trigger in oversold territory. That's down in this negative 20, negative 30 area. The same as the predicted MACD. The predicted MACD is showing oversold at negative 50. It's now moving higher. Now our predicted short term difference is moving lower, but our predicted medium and long term differences are staying positive. Now what we want to look at here is the crossovers to give us a direction. We know by looking at this, the short term crossover is obviously not going to favor an, ups, an immediate upside move. We can see that as that's been now verified. The short term crossover is to the downside. However, when we look at the medium and the long term crossovers, they're both very clearly holding their ground to the upside, suggesting that these contracts actually have further upside potential once we get a minor pullback. Now, Another thing I want to bring into play here is an additional indicator to see if, you know, if there's an indicator to tell me why is this thing going lower all of a sudden on me when I'm running this uptrend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the predicted stochastic in here so everybody can see this and I'm going to compare it against the vantage point predicted true strength indicator. We can see that the predicted stochastic 80 is overbought, it's hit 80, it's crossed the trigger to the downside. This, this tells us basically the stochastic in this particular case is, is a momentum indicator and it's telling us that it's losing that upward momentum. However, if we look at this predicted true strength indicator, it's still, there's no crossover here whatsoever and it's continuing to move higher. Now, another good example of this we can see back here on the predicted true strength indicator is crossed to the upside, but the stochastic is an indicator that can be very quick to react to something where you can see the predicted true strength indicator said the market was going to continue to move higher. The market actually moved on rough rice contracts from the 14 level all the way to 1650 even though the stochastic was giving an overbought signal. The key thing we want to point out here is this predicted true strength indicator from vantage point is not giving us a sell signal on rough rice contracts. It's saying we're going to move higher. Now again, another powerful indicator uh, is the predicted MACD. The predicted MACD is again showing us the exact same thing. So I'm going to leave the stochastic actually on here. And what I'm going to do here, just so everybody can see, is I'm going to take the, the true strength indicator off, and now I'm going to check it against the vantage point predicted MACD. Now hitting uh, OK there, so we can see that. Again, now I've switched it and I've put the stochastic on the bottom. But again, you can see the predicted MACD is saying we're still in a, in, in a potential trend reversal and we're still moving higher. Uh, again, we have to work off these overly, you know, this overbought scenario that we're currently in on the rough rice contracts. To and then once it's pulled back a little bit, that tells me there's a there's a potentially a very good entry point here for for a long position, staying with those medium and longer term indicators, and then understanding what those short shorter term indicators are actually saying to us. So with that said, we can see we have 13.665 and 14.05 tomorrow for the high. So we're going to be looking at buying at this 1366.50 area. Our neural index is down for the second day in a row, but as you can see, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days with the neural index being up. So this is perfectly normal for the market to be moving lower. It's just understanding why it's moving lower and then using it to our advantage. So what this is telling me is uh, what my strategy in this particular situation is, I'm going to let it pull back 
and what it does I'm gonna use I'm gonna wait for the market to come to me and I'm gonna get into a long position so for tomorrow we're looking at that 1366.50 area to get into the buy positions and we should have a fairly reasonable stop here I would actually have the stop uh, down below 13 area just to be safe because we're, we're gonna see some volatility uh, for sure now that's our first position now our second position is going to be in the Forex market, specifically the U.S. Swiss franc currency pair. Now this one's going to be volatile again, and it is a counter, to be perfectly honest, it, it's a counter trend position. Now the first thing I want to do is identify key levels of support, 91.78, 91.42, 91.79, with a close of 92.04. So my three pivotal areas are, are there. Now they're not going to carry as much weight because unfortunately, you know, we, we are going to experience some volatility and this triple EMA cross has not completed. Our three day has not crossed over the eight, the 18 day predicted moving average, only the eight. So that's a bit of a concern. Now what I do like, when I'm checking on this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my long-term crossover from vantage point. We can see, again, a bit of a warning sign that this is not completed. So we're essentially trading off the medium term crossover from vantage point in conjunction with the predicted MACD and the predicted true strength indicator. Now all three of these indicators are lining up much like our dollar yen trade last night which was very nice. It didn't pull back quite to that to the to the regular entry but your more aggressive traders where I was saying in that 81 you know 8150 area we got a nice move off that area all the way up to 8250 so a nice move last night on the dollar yen now what I want to point out the dollar yen and the US Swiss franc is a very similar trade so we have to be very very cautious of that so our key level our 18 day predicted moving average comes in at 9178 I don't anticipate that to hold for tomorrow I think we're going to push a little bit lower uh, but let's have a look at the daily report and see if the, what that daily report is actually saying because uh, you know it may actually hold but we've got 9154 I believe that to be a reasonable area for an entry point you're more aggressive traders if you want to get in it in the 9170 or, or yeah we'll say uh, 9178 9197 for your more aggressive traders your less aggressive traders I think it's more reasonable reasonable to use the 9154 area because we have the the ADP report that's going to be out tomorrow which is pre nom farm payroll it's going to be volatile the, the rest of the week that much I can assure you but we appear to have a bit of a trend forming at least in the short and the medium term you can see the long-term predicted difference from vantage point is sitting at zero so it's not really agreeing with this as of yet but it's rolling over long in our favor so for tomorrow we've got anywhere we're looking for long entry points less aggressive 9154 more aggressive 9178 your upside target here is going to be in the 9260 area 9255 area I think is reasonable but again much like that rough rice trade We've got five straight up days on this neural index, and usually, like I said, nothing goes straight up and nothing goes straight down. So the probability of a pullback is is very high. It's just a question of how deep is that pullback going to be. But uh, now what, what I want to quickly do also is, much like what I did with that rough rice contract, I want to go in here and just switch this up a little bit and see where some of those other indicators are. So I'm going to use... I'm going to take the predicted MACD off again, and this time I'm going to put that stochastic in here again, just, just to double check this, to see where am I sitting in this. Now you can see that the stochastic is not overbought, so there is no crossover on these lines. So in actual fact, this one looks much better than the rough rise contract in the sense that there's no crossover to the downside. We're not in overbought territory, and our predicted true strength indicator is still very deep in oversold territory, which tells me I, I should be able to get towards that target of 92.60, at least in the interim. So a lot of analysis goes into this, guys, so hopefully it benefits you. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com.